welcome to the Max Stern Athletic Center here in New York City. We have an exciting game of basketball for you here tonight as the number two Yeshiva University Maccabees try to extend their season record to 5-0 and extend their win streak to 41 games straight. Tonight, they face off against the Mount St. Vincent Dolphins. Hello, everyone. I'm Daniel Malo, joined alongside Zach Tuckman. Zach, how are you feeling tonight? I'm doing great, Daniel. How are you? Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be with you as well. Tonight, the Max play their home conference opener. On Sunday, they played their first game against the conference team, St. Joseph's College, Long Island. They pulled out a victory, largely on the backs of a 19-0 run to start the second half. But the first half, they started out a little slow. Talk a little more about that. Yeah, so like you said, the Max started out a little slow. They had their worst offensive game of the season. They really struggled against the against the St. Joseph's zone in the first half. Particularly, they held the ball. They did not hold the ball, and they took too many three-pointers early in the shot clock. Absolutely. Mistakes to watch out for tonight. Now, they did pull out with the victory, and that's the main goal in every game, get the win. Who were some of the players that uh, really carried the team that game? Yeah, so like you said, the team was really propelled by that 19-0 run to start the second half. The defense really sparked the offense and got the team going and put the game on ice. But in particular, it was Adi Markovic and Ethan Lasko really sparked the team. When we spoke to Coach Steinmetz about Adi Markovic and Ethan Lasko, he said it was suffocating to watch those guys defend the St. Joseph's guards. Glad to see Coach Steinmetz had high praise for his players. So now let's transition to uh, today's game. So the Max play their home conference opener against the College of Mount St. Vincent Dolphins. The Dolphins come into this game with a one and two record. They lost their first game to NYU. They pulled off a nice victory against Hunter, 104 to 70. Their last game, however, they lost a nail, a nail biter to Delhi, 77-74, very close game. Who are some of the players we need to watch out for tonight? All right, so first and foremost, it's Dan Porsick of the Dolphins. He's their leading scorer, excellent shooter. 13 points per game, seven rebounds per game. He's a transfer. When we spoke to Coach James Mooney about him, he said he's a lead by example guy. When he talks, everybody on the team listens. And second, Carlos Evans leads the team in assists at almost four per game, second on team in points, and second on team in rebounds at 10 and seven respectively. Max, we'll definitely have to watch out for these guys if they want to get in the win call tonight. Now. Let's talk about some of the keys to the game. The Max look to extend their season record to a 5-0 and extend their win streak to 41 games straight. What do they need to do to get that big win tonight? So firstly, I think it's most important they need to take care of the basketball tonight. The team that they're playing tonight, the Dolphins, they force 22 turnovers per game. That is a lot of turnovers. They're going to try to get out and running, get in transition, get easy buckets. The Max are going to have to take care of the basketball. Second, they're going to have to protect the paint. The Maccabees gave up too many points in the paint last game, more than half of their points, and Mount St. Vincent averages almost half of their points in the paint as well. And lastly, lastly, they're going to have to make sure that they are more patient on offense. Last game we talked about it in the zone. They took too many shots early in the shot clock. If Mount St. Vincent goes to a zone tonight, I expect the Maccabees to be more patient, get the ball inside more than shooting threes early in the shot clock. Protect the ball, protect the paint, be patient. Sounds like a great recipe for success. Let's see if the Max can get the win tonight. There you have it, everyone. Don't go anywhere. National Anthems and tip-off coming up after this. Bruchim Habaim, welcome to Yeshiva University, where our core Torah values shape everything we do and guide us toward a better tomorrow. In the classroom and the lab, in the Beit Midrash, on the court, on Shabbat, and all around the city, New York City. Grow at your own pace with smaller class sizes, research opportunities on and off campus, over 150 clubs, 15 D3 NCAA teams, and top tier internships at companies like Bloomberg, Google, and Facebook. Our buy it is your buy it. When it's time to play, and when it's time to pray. When you have a craving, when you need a break, when you celebrate, and when you shine. Come on in and meet your Havruta, your teammates, your professors, this guy. Connect with people from down the street and from down under. With over 80% of students receiving financial aid, Yeshiva University distributes more than $45 million annually to ensure that a YU education is affordable for all. Make YU your home base and you've got all the bases covered from first base to playing base, from this kind of base to the base medrash. Come on, that's a stretch. 
You can get where you're going faster with our Pathways programs, dual degrees, and partnerships. And when you're ready for the workforce, we've got you covered with a network of over 70,000 alumni. An astounding 94% of students are employed in grad school or both within six months after graduation. We are student-driven, outcome-driven, values-driven, deeply rooted, and forward-focused. Oh, and we also have all of this. What are you waiting for? Experience YU and step into your future. Alfred gives for Patesh. Patesh seeing a lot of seeing a lot of time with the starting unit. Give it go, Aliu! Gabe Leifert of agreed! Guy used to saying that. Ethan Halpert taking on a very similar role at his brother and recent graduate Simcha Halpert takes on his Oren Batesh connects on a triple. For Kenny, but take it back by by Leifert. Give it to Terrell. Terrell. Gets right to Terrell two more. If you're living with pain that affects your quality of life, we're here to help. Since its inception in 1986, the Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation Center has been providing its patients with the best possible care of sports, spine, orthopedic, and neuromuscular conditions. Whether you want to get back to playing sports again or simply walk around pain-free, the PMR Center is here for you. We'll help you feel like yourself again. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. When I was in ninth grade, someone told me to give up on ball. He told me, basketball will only take you so far in life. You're not going to make it to the NBA, he said. What he was missing is that making it to the NBA isn't the only reason why we play. The game of basketball leaves you with so much more than just the game itself. The life lessons and friendships that are made while playing the game will outlive the game and can last a lifetime. Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center. Once again, I'm Daniel Malola alongside Zach Tuckman, almost getting ready for the national anthems. But first, we're going to kick it over to Greg Fox as he honors Gabe Leifer, who just obtained his 1,000th rebound.
welcome back. We are back, so we are just getting ready to start announcing the, the uh, starting lineups. I want you to know the starting lineups are brought to you by the Yeshiva University Office of Admissions. Getting ready to announce the starting lineups for the Dolphins. Zach, who are we seeing tonight for the Dolphins? Um, so we got tonight, we got Arun Darab, Jeremiah Simmons, Shakiro Samuels, Haven Smith, and as we mentioned the pregame, Dan Porsick. Dan Porsick is going to be a big factor in tonight's game. And talk about also um, uh, Shakira Samuels. Uh, I think J James Mooney told us on Sunday, a great defender, he brings a lot of energy in, into this game, so definitely going to be people to watch out for. Um, how about also ha Haven Smith? Haven Smith, the big, the big guy, he's a good defense player, and Mooney said that he's like what he's seen on the floor from him. the max for the max it looks like we'll have our usual five looks like we'll have Terrell along with Ofek Reef, Gabriel Leifer, Eitan Alpert, Jordan Armstrong. Zach who should we keep an eye on tonight for the max? I think similarly as usually got Ryan Terrell to look out for obviously the oncoming of Ofek Reef playing much better this season than he has in the past and of course the old staple Gabriel Leifer always a big presence in the paint for the Maccabees. Absolutely, they just on him tonight for grabbing 1,000 rebounds. He is a beast in the paint. Definitely look for a lot of him tonight. Uh, talk about Ryan Terrell. He's actually 19 points away from getting his 1,500 point. That's why he was named to the D3 team, team of the week this week. Definitely going to expect a big performance out of him tonight. Yeah, I think we can. I mean, Ryan Terrell always can expect a big performance out of him. The guy puts in timeless counts and effort to put in good work in order for him to succeed on the basketball court. And it really shows game in and game out. And we're really excited for him. Ofek Reef as well, as you mentioned, has been a big player this year after uh, teams realized that you gotta stop Ryan and you gotta stop Gabe. Ofek has realized he stepped up in one way. So I talked about how Ofek has really stepped up uh, ever since uh, getting a bigger role. Yeah, I mean, Ofek, I mean, when he first came to Yeshiva, he was the sixth man. He was that spark plug off the bench, but now Coach Diamond sees potential in him. We see potential in him. They insert him into the starting lineup, and he delivers game in and game out, averaging close to 18 points per game. Now the second leading scorer on this team. Unbelievable feat in only his third full se second full season with the Max. Absolutely, and the best part is he has been also an underrated part of the game. He's been very good from the foul line. He's actually perfect from three throws. He has hit all 12 of his three throws that he's taken this season. How about that? Yeah, it's an impressive feel. It's trying to put the kibosh on him already this early in the season. <laughs> uh, most definitely. He says a message to teams that uh, you can't play too rough on him because if you send him to the line, you give him two free points. For sure. And also, Zach, the Dolphins over here have, uh, have a tough schedule. You know, they play the Max tonight. Um, and not too long, they will play the number fourth ranked Illinois Wesleyan. So... They're actually, you know, embracing challenges from teams that are, you know, definitely not easy to beat. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, it's always good to play better competition. That's how you get better. And I mean, just they're playing the University of Columbia. I think the next week, I think that's their next game. That's going to be a big challenge, an exhibition game for them against a Division One opponent. I don't know if the Max are on that level, but maybe. We'll see. I definitely will see if the Max got any challenge here tonight. It looks like tip offs about to start. Armstrong. And Haven Smith will take the tip off. And tip off is won by the Max. Ofekri pips it up, gets it inside, and lays it in. That's a great play off the tip. The Max loved to, with that size advantage, run that play off the tip. This time did not work actually as usual, but Ofekri ran it down, easy layup. Horses gives it over to Durab. Durab tries to take it in, throws it back, intercepted by Jordan Armstrong. Eitan Alpha brings it back the other way. Terrell takes a baseline, puts up the jumper, can't get it to go. Armstrong, good rebound. Lifer for three. 
puts it in. Gabe Leifer from distance. That's yeah, great hustle by Jordan Armstrong getting down that loose ball, kicking it out to over Reef. Extra pass to Gabriel Leifer for the wide open three pointer. Horsich has it. And it's taken away by Leifer. Leifer leads Terrell. Only Porsich back. Terrell lays it up. Can't get it to go, but he'll go to the line for two shots. Once again, great defensive intensity by the Max. They saw that pick and roll from a mile away. Gabriel Leifer steals the pass. Outlet to Ryan Terrell. And him one-on-one -on -one in the open court is tough to stop. Dan Porsik commits the foul. As we talked about earlier, Porsik is a big factor on this Dolphins team. Coach Mooney has said that he really likes when he speaks. But when he speaks, people listen. So definitely expecting a big game out of him tonight. Terrell hits the first. All right, uh, how many more is that till uh, 1500? I don't know if math is my strong suit, but <laughs> I think we got 18 more. That's exactly right, 18 more to go. Interestingly, the Max put no players in for the rebound, and they do this a lot, Zach. I think we got a little stoppage. It looks like Ofik forgot to take out his earrings. That's not going to be allowed. He's not supposed to be playing the jewelry. No, not at all. Very dangerous. Yes. Very much so, yes. Yeah, so, okay, that's actually a funny stop. You can see Ofek uh, laughing it off now. It's okay. But, all right, play resumes. No, ha no harm done. Play resumes. Terrell will take a second. Terrell hits two at the line. See what the Dolphins can get working here. Here, Samus gives it over back to Rob. Rob now tries to take it in, gives it over to Porsich. Samuels, go to Simmons. Simmons double team. Simmons looks to take it in, floats it up. Can't get it to go. Terrell brings it down the board. Max push back the other way. Halpert has it at the wing. Hands it over to Reef. Halpert has it back. Finds Terrell at the baseline. Terrell takes it in. Tried to find Armstrong, but it's taken away. And here comes Shakira Samuels. Samuels takes himself. It's it over. Uh, is up, no good. Good defense there by Armstrong and Leifer. Halper comes back with it. Leifer takes it baseline, tried to feed it to Armstrong. Pass too strong. Dolphins will come back with it the other way. Yeah, but if you've noticed so far, the Maccabees defense has been impeccable. Very difficult shots the Dolphins have taken so far. Really have not had a single clean look to this point. Talked about if the Max would be good on offense. So far they've proven themselves on defense. Grab has it in the corner. Off screen. Kicks it over to Simmons. Sends it, give it to Porchich. Porchich guarded by Terrell. Looks to drive it in. Almost lo lost it, and Terrell comes away with it. Terrell looks to push. Terrell kicks it to Reef down low. Reef lays it up and lays it in. What a find by Ryan Terrell. Timeout Dolphins. Yeah, too much dribbling there by Porsick. Ryan Terrell takes it away from him. And the easy bucket in transition for Ofe Grief, 9-0. Maccabees, two plus minutes in. Coach Mooney needs a timeout. Try it. And you know, we talked about the, uh, the Max, they would get a rough start tonight, but uh, so far they've done a good job. Let's kick it over to our sideline reporter, SJ Tannenbaum, for more on that. SJ. Thanks, guys. Thank God the Max are off to a great start tonight against CMSV. This is as opposed to last Sunday when they were at St. Joe's, Long Island, where the Max played their worst basketball of the young season against St. Joe's zone defense. Thank God it seems they've turned it around. Get back to you guys in the booth. Thank you very much, SJ. Zach, as SJ was saying, indeed, the Max have really gone off to a very strong start here, and we talked about that bad first half in St. Joseph's College, Long Island on Sunday, but they have really turned it around here tonight. Yeah, the defensive intensity has showed early on. Rob likes to take it in, can't get it to fall. Leifer grabs another rebound. An outlet pass to Halpert, Halpert takes it in. Now gives it over to Terrell. Intercepted there by Simmons. Yeah, Max a couple turnovers early on. We talked about keys to the game, protecting the ball. Grab Not corner so three, so buries it. Dolphins finally get on the board. Yeah, the Dolphins taking the turnover, getting, back, getting on offense before the defense is able to get set. Easy points. Terrell has it, guarded by Simmons. 
Now, now he gives Halbert at the wing. Halbert trying to find Ofek down low, nearly intercepted there by Simmons. The ball goes out of bounds. Max will keep it. I'm just going to say it again. The Dolphins, like we said, their defense is great. They force a lot of turnovers. The Max better be careful. They've had a couple sloppy possessions in a row here. Ofek gives it over to Terrell. Terrell thought that shot now takes it in. Baseline jumper. Can't finish. And Porsche comes away with it. Gives it over to Shakira Samuels. Brings it out to Durab. Durab has it in the wing. Back to Samuels. Grab has it, double team, gives it over to Porsich of the wing. Porsich looks to take it inside, but if he'd Smith down low, a jump ball is called. The defense there by Leifer. Yeah, Porsich had him a few seconds earlier. He just waited a second too long, and that allowed Gabriel Leifer to get over there and force the jump ball. Leifer showing why he has 1,000 rebounds. He is a tough guy down low. Grab gets it into Porsich. Porsich, quick jumper. No good. Rebounded by Aton Halpert. Halpert had thought about popping the three, but passed on it to Leifer. Terrell has it at the high post, kicks it down low to Armstrong, and Armstrong gets the finish. Yeah, Ryan Terrell in the high post. We talked about the Max getting the ball to the high post early, not selling for threes. There he is, draws the double team, and has the easy dish to Jordan Armstrong down low. Now Smith looks to take it against Armstrong, kicks it back to Durab. Now Samuels has it. Back to Smith. Smith, short jumper, puts it in. Yeah, that's Haven Smith over there. Coach Mooney loves Haven Smith. Provides a lot of energy. Back Reef now has it. Lifer takes it at the top. Finds Terrell in the high post. Lifer will try another three. Can't get it to go that time. Tipped out by Armstrong, but a foul is called. That's an excellent box out there by Shakiro Samuels. Jordan Armstrong, massive size advantage, but the only way to combat that is boxing him out. Jordan Armstrong, no choice but to go over the back there, and he's going to get subbed out for the smaller Ethan Lasko. The D1 transfer who we just talked about in the pregame. Let's see what he brings to the floor now. Well, we talked about last game. He brought a lot of energy defensively. We'll see if he can do that again here tonight. The Rab has it, looks taken in, kicks it over to Evans, back to Samuels. Porsich has it. Back to Simmons. Dolphins swing the ball around here, can't find a way through the max defense. Now Porsich pops a shot, can't get it to go, and Leifer grabs another rebound. Yeah, Porsich is really looking to get going early here, but Ryan Terrell all over him in his face. Tough to find any rhythm early on. Lasko pops on the three, now gave it to Terrell in the three. No good. Rebounded by Smith. Samuels brings it out. Jeremiah Simmons has it guarded by Lasko. Give it to Smith. Smith looks to take it in against Lifer. Smith puts it up, can't get it to flow. And Ryan Terrell comes away with it. Albert gave it to Lifer down low. Terrell cuts in, gets it up, and can't finish. But Lifer's right there for the putback. And Gabe Lifer always there to clean up. Ryan Terrell, ooh, okay, almost had a five on four. Ryan Terrell gets back. Terrell takes it in against Lasko. Here back to Simmons. Looks like they're going to call a kickball. The ball's going to stay here with the Dolphins. That's a good call. It's a kickball. It's going to stay Dolphins' ball. Gabe Leifer going to be subbed out for Matan Zucker. Leifer himself actually subbed himself out, maybe a little bit tired after a couple strenuous possessions. Let's see what Matan Zucker brings. He actually uh, had a good game on Sunday against St. Joseph's College Long Island. So let's see what he brings to the floor here. And that is a great inbounds pass by the Dolphins. Caught Matan Zucker fresh into the game, napping, was not paying attention, and he goes back door for the easy lap. You know what they say, hand down, man down. Halpert, wing three, puts it in. Aton Halpert from downtown. They do not want to leave him open. Coach Steinmetz said when we spoke to him, Aton Halpert is the best shooter he's ever coached. He has no worries about his early somewhat struggles to start the season. You see it there. Now Durab has it guarded by Lasko. Durab kicks it over to Porsich. Porsich takes it in, jumper, can't finish. Rebounded by Smith, and Dolphins will reset. Samuels has it guarded by Halpert. Porsich has it in the quarter guarded by Terrell. Kicks it back to Smith on the baseline. Now Smith looks to go against Aton Halpert. And a jump shot, no good, but a foul is called on Matan Zucker. Yeah, it's Matan Zucker. He's coming to the game. He got beat on the inbounds pass. 
Gave up the offensive rebound, now a foul. Gabe Leifer comes out of the game, Matanzerger comes in. You can see the difference with the Maccabees without Leifer on the floor. We'll see how quick his rest is. Jeremiah Simmons will go to the line for two shots. Simmons is able to hit the first. And it looks like the Dolphins will make some subs. Sean Goodwin entering the game. Sean Goodwin enters the game for Shakira Samuels. Let's see what he brings. Lasco calls the play here. Just to set it up. Now Terrell for the alley oop. Couldn't get it in, but Terrell gets his own rebound. Puts it up again, can't finish. And Simmons comes away with it. Simmons pushes up, gets inside. And they're going to call a charge. Great job there by Ethan Lasco to have his composure and draw the charge. Max will take it back the other way. Excellent play by Ethan Lasco. He saw a defender coming at him one on one. He decides, I'm going to plant myself here, let him come into me. He does exactly that. Easy call for the referees that's going down Maccabee's ball. Continuing the momentum he showed on Sunday defensively. Albert has it, now gives it to Terrell. Guarded by Simmons. Last week's back to Terrell, back to Halpert. Halpert, another three! Puts it in again! Back to back threes for Aton Halpert. Once again, Aton Halpert, you cannot leave him open. Last time it was Durab, slow on the closeout. You cannot leave him open. He's going to hit that more times than not for the Maccabees. So that's the high post, gives it to Porsche. Porsche, quick three! Puts it in, showing why he's the top scorer for this Dolphins yeah, team. Yeah, Dan Porsick, he's had a slow start here. Maybe that three will get him going. They've been trying to run plays for him, get him easy looks. That's the first one he hits tonight. Albert found Terrell on the high post. Now Terrell takes it in, try to find Reef down low. Too hard, and the Dolphins will take it back the other way. Yeah, Ryan Terrell, that's a great idea to Ofek Reef, just a little bit too hard. Maybe Ofek was not expecting it. Off his knee, it's going down, and we have a D. Markovic and Gabe Leifer back in the game. And in for the Dolphins, Chris Samuels checks back in and Jeremiah Simmons will sit. Durab brings it back for the Dolphins. Drives in, kicks it back to Goodwin. Back to Durab, pass on the shot. I found Samuels. Goodwin now pops the mid-range jumper and puts it in. Sean Goodwin uses the pump fake there, gets Aton Halper a little bit in the air, able to go past him. And that's an easy bucket for Goodwin. Steal there by Porsich. Leads the Rab. The Rab. Only Halpert back. Gets the finish. Great transition offense there. Another turnover for the Max. They have to be wary of that. We talked about it in the pregame. Mount St. Vincent is going to take advantage of that. And they do there for the easy layup. We have a three point game here. Ball needs to be protected. Now Lasco pops a three. Can't get it to go. Goodwin comes away with it. As since that 9-0 start for the Max and Coach Mooney called that timeout, Mount St. Vincent has really settled in here, making this a close game. They're making a very good challenge out of the Maccabees tonight ever since that timeout. Now Sanders has the wing, guarded by Zucker. Gives it over to Goodwin. Goodwin kicks it back to Porsich. Porsich looks to take it in. Now gives it to Durab. Four on the shot clock. Durab pops it. And buries it, Durab with a big three. Another three from Durab, that's gonna tie the game here. Bargwich brings it back, down Halpert. Now Halpert finds Lasko at the other wing, immediately double teamed. Now Halpert tries another three, puts it in again, that's his third. I'm gonna say it again, it was nine to zero max. Eitan Halpert's hit three straight threes since then. They are not respecting his jump shot. It has really been killing the Dolphins to this point. Porsic has it got by Markovic. Fakes now looks to take it inside. Floater gets it to go. Great take there from Dan Porsic. That's an excellent finish from Porsic with Adi Markovic all over him. Even wanted the foul that Porsic didn't get it. Markovic has it in the high post. Found Lifer. Lifer wing three on the way. No good. Ball still loose. And Leifert gets his own rebound. Now Leifert takes it back inside, lost the ball. Samuels fell on it, and they're going to call it jump ball. This one should stay with the Max. That's excellent hustle there by Gabriel Leifert. You love to see your team leader, your captain, getting that loose ball, fighting for every inch. Really sends a message to the rest of the team when your captain does something like that. Looks like we have more subs coming for the Dolphins. Number 13, Kelvin Turner-Harris checks in along with the uh, Number 21, Elijah McKenzie. 
So you want to watch out for Kelvin Turner Harris. He can really shoot the ball from anywhere on the court. And for the max, Oren Batesh checks in. And Batesh pops the three, can't get it to go. Ball still loose, and the Dolphins come away with it. Samuels brings it back the other way. Durab lost it. Max it back the other way. Here comes Matan Zucker. Nearly lost it. They're going to call a foul. And Matan Zucker was fortunate there, was trying to go one on three on the fast break. He gets bailed out with the foul call there as he gets tripped. And we talked about being patient with the ball. He gets bailed out there. But when you're one on three, the best is to stop and let the play develop and let the help come to you. And Coach Mooney must like what he sees. He's going to call another time out here. But he really must like what he sees since that 9-0 run for the Max to start the game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, Max fans. This is Joseph Gittler, YU class of 1996, founder and chairman of Leket Israel. The skies are reopening, so come and volunteer with us in Israel as soon as you make it here. Please also consider supporting us as you think about your charity. And of course, go Max! At the PMR Center, we strive to find the right physical therapy and hand therapy program for you. PM&R, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Welcome back. So, Zach, I think we're having fun tonight. And by the way, Max fans, do you know that 80% of our viewers from last week's game against Eastern Connecticut State were actually not subscribed to Max Live? See, we would greatly appreciate it if you could help support our efforts to put on quality broadcasts and take just three seconds to subscribe. Also, be sure to turn on notifications so you won't miss out on the great content we put out on a consistent basis. Subscribe. Yeah, we got Ryan Terrell back in the game. Definitely see if he can light a spark here. It's been a close game. Mount Vincent has gone on basically a 7-0 run at this point, so Max bring in looks like their starters, some of their starters at least. Tesh has it, found Leifer, and the high post kicks it back. Markovic, a three, buries it! Adi Markovic from downtown. Uh, Adi Markovic off the bench the last two games has really provided a spark plug for the Max. Now Goodwin tries to answer, can't, and the rebound is controlled by Batesh, and Terrell brings it back the other way. Yeah, Dolphins trying to get down the court quickly. They got an open look. Max did not get back on defense after that three-pointer. Markovic has it in the corner. Looks, finds Batesh at the wing. Down to Leifer, down low. And Markovic will try another three. Can't connect that time, and the ball goes out of play. Excellent vision there by Gabe Leifer. He saw Markovic out of the corner of his eye for the wide open three, and even better by Markovic to get in the passing lane to make it easy for his teammate to get in the ball. Good passing is the way to go here, being patient, and eventually those shots will fall. Dallas will be back the other way. Samuels has it. That gives to Sean Goodwin. Goodwin has it up front. Now looks to take it inside. Float a shot. Doesn't fall, Leifer snatches that rebound. Yeah, that's not going to go in the stat sheet, but Goodwin had to throw, do a floater that time. Good transition offense there. Armstrong gets fouled, and he will head to the line. Yeah, Durab does not like that call. Sometimes, sometimes shorter player, uh, taller players will get the benefit of the doubt that that was a foul and not a blocked shot, but Durab seems to think that he got all ball on that one. Jordan Armstrong to the line for two. Overall, Zach, we would say the Dolphins have uh, provided a challenge to the Max so far tonight, and uh, one of the big questions coming into this game was, who would be uh, the, the Skyline Conference team that would give the Max biggest challenge? I think we have seen that so far. Yeah, I mean, the Maccabees have had been on cruise control in many of these Skyline matchups in recent years, and but early on, the Dolphins have given them a challenge. And give credit to them. They have a tough schedule, and you see them going up against tough teams, and they have risen to that challenge. Well, like you said, if you play tough teams, that's how you get better, and the last time the Max faced these guys, they won by double digits both times. We've seen some improvement early on tonight. Samuels brings it back for the Dolphins. Makes it in, gives it to Helen Turner-Harris. Mid-range jumper, can't get it to go. Nice hustle there from McKenzie, and he gets it in. You see oh, him. Yeah, Jordan Armstrong and Gabriel Leifer there. McKenzie with better offensive position, gets through and puts it back in. Coach Mooney really loves that kid's energy. And you see it there. Markovic kicks it over to Leifer. Leifer finds Matesh in the corner, back to Markovic at the wing. Terrell, corner three, no good. The Mackeys have had excellent ball movement so far. Their shots have been open, but they have just not all fallen to this point. 
Alvin Turner Harris has it, now gives for Samuels. Simmons has it, Simmons looks to take it inside. It's back, McKenzie can't hit the three, and Oren Batesh secures the rebound. It's a good look again for the Dolphins. McKenzie goes out there, and Max aren't going to go out and guard him from that far. Margaret has it in the high post, now gives the lifer. Armstrong has it down low, kicks it back out to Markovic. That's what's reset here. Lifer gives for Terrell at the wing. Terrell found a cutting lifer. Lifer, the float shot, won't go. Out of bounds. Last touch by Durab, so the Max will keep it. More subs here for the Dolphins and the Max. For the Max, it looks like we'll have Ethan Lasko checking in, along with Ofek Reef, Oren Batesh, and Markovic will sit. For the Dolphins, Porsik back in, McKenzie will take a seat. We also got Haven Smith checking back in as well. Terrell can't find anyone now, kicks it way over to Gabe Leifer. Back to Terrell, Terrell takes it baseline. Kicks it out to Lasko. Back to Terrell, Terrell will try three from the other corner. Can't connect that time either. And Porsik grabs that rebound. I love that by Terrell though. Passed up on the first shot, his outside shot has not been falling so far tonight. Couldn't pass up on the second one, was too open in any rhythm. Still couldn't find it to fall though. David Smith has it at the high post, that gives it back to Samuels. Simmons has it, gives for Porsik. Porsik guarded by Lasko. Porsik nearly lost the ball, but gets it back. That finds Smith. Takes it inside against, against Armstrong, puts it up, and gets the finish. Great take there by Haven Smith. What a tough finish by Haven Smith there. Not much you could do. Excellent defense by Jordan Armstrong, but off, good offense trumps good defense sometimes. Lasko has it outside. Now gave for Reef. Reef found Armstrong down low. Back outside to Lasko. Trell kicks it back out to Leifer. Leifer finds Lasko. Now back to Leifer, three-pointer on the way. Can't get it to go. Good tip out there by Armstrong to Reef. Back to Leifer down low. A travel is called as Reef throws it down, but that will not count. Another turnover for the Max here. We talked about this in the pregame. Last game, the Max fell in love with the three-pointer early on. They were not as patient in the zone, and they were missing their shots. That led to it being a closer game. Same thing here tonight. Max have fallen in love with the three-pointer. Outside of Aton Hopper, the Max have really struggled from downtown tonight, and that has kept this game significantly closer than it should be. Number four, Dorian Robinson checks in for the Dolphins now. Let's see what he brings. Turner Harris, the jumper, gets it to go. That's yeah, Kelvin Turner Harris. We said he'll shoot from anywhere on the court. He does so there. That would have been a three pointer in high school, but it's only going to count for two here tonight. Viper has it at the high post. Kicks it to Hopper in the corner. Three pointer on the way. It's good! Aton Halpert is on fire from behind the arc tonight. That's four three-pointers for Aton Halpert tonight. He's single-handedly carrying the max offense here in the first half. There's a reason Coach Steinmetz called him the best shooter he's ever seen. Now Robinson has it. Gives it for Turner Harris at the wing, guarded by Terrell. Turner Harris tried to, tried to get it in, and he threw, smartly threw it off Terrell. So we'll stay Dolphins ball. Yeah, heady play there by Turner Harris. Saw he had nowhere to go, was falling out of bounds. Throws it off Terrell's knee. Looks like that'll be a timeout by the Max. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back soon. Hi everyone, this is Tomer Capone and I want to invite you all to come and help and volunteer with Leket Israel. Thank you. Men's basketball season for Yeshiva is underway. Vision 3 Yeshiva University. Yeshiva University Maccabees have won 34 in a row. Welcome back to the Max Turner Athletic Center. Max lead it by 30 to 27. Just a little over five minutes to go here in the first half. Tough game so far for the Max, Zach. Yeah, I think outside of Aton Halpert, we said it before, the Max have really struggled from their, with their outside shooting. We'll see, they keep getting open looks, but we'll see if they continue to not go down. Halpert leads the Max with 12 off of four threes. Simmons has it, gives for Robinson. Stavage and play ref saw something. Yeah, they just want to reset the shot clock. They reset the shot clock when it should not have. The ball did not go up on the rim before that timeout. 
10 seconds on the shot clock, should be less after a couple seconds that were just taken off right there. I think that's what the refs are talking about now. All right, looks like they have it figured out. Like we said, they're gonna take off two seconds and give the ball to the Dolphins on the side. Tanner Harris will inbound it. Give it to Porsich in the corner. Porsich dribbles out. Right back to Turner Harris, jump shot. Can't find it. That was, Jimmy, that was Haven Smith. Good look for Haven Smith there. Double team on Porsich. Haven Smith pops out for the jumper. Couldn't hit it that time, but a good look. Glasgow has it, gave for Halpert. Our guys at the wing, back to over to Terrell. Terrell takes inside, mid-range jumper. That one falls for him. And Ryan Terrell, mid-range jumper. Maybe that will get him going from the outside. Dolphins bring it back the other way. Simmons has it, looks to take it inside. Lost it, good defense there by Terrell, and Halper comes back with it. Halper tried to lead Reef. Good awareness there by Turner Harris, intercept. Takes it back. Gives it to Porsich. Porsich. Gave it back to Turner Harris. Stoppage is called again. Seems like clock problems again. Looks like Ofec Reef will head to the locker room. Yeah, it might have been injury stop in here for Ofec Reef. Harris mid-range jumper. Doesn't get it to fall, but a foul is called. Yeah, and there's a larger emphasis around that call throughout all levels of basketball. Turner Harris not able to land in his landing space. Gabe Oilford does not give him space to land. That's going to be a foul every single time. This was drawn from the famous Kawhi Leonard injury when Zaza Pachulia went under him in the, in the Western Conference Finals a couple years ago. Always got to watch those. Those are very dangerous. Turner Harris able to hit the first. And Turner Harris hits the second. Looks like we will see some subs. Turner Harris just hit the foul shots, will sit. Looks like Dorian Robinson checks back in. And we also got our first action from Carlos Evans. We were expecting to see a lot from him in the pregame. His first action here tonight with only four minutes left. We'll see what he can do, bring the spark plug off the bench. Halbert thought about another three, but passed on it. Now gave for Leifer. Back to Lasko. Leifer has it at the baseline. Found a cutting Terrell, and gets the finish. Great find there by Gabe Leifer. Wow, it was really a heady play by Ryan Spell. He knew if he came down with the ball, there was going to be people all over him. He knew his best chance at an open look was in the air, and that's what he did. Easy bucket for Terrell. Durab now takes the mid-range jumper. Can't get it to fill, and Gabe Leifer grabs that rebound. Do what he does best, grab rebounds. Markovic has it at the wing. Gave for Halpert. Another three. Not that time. Uh, Halpert now four or five from three. Now Evans. So he, he's seeing his first action tonight. Gives it back for Robinson. Now Smith takes over against Leifer. Smith, spin move, couldn't get it to fall. And Leifer grabs another rebound. Uh, Haven Smith, that's a good look and a good move to get by Gabriel Leifer, but just could not finish with the left hand. Albert gives for Lasko. Lasko dribbles out, gives it over to Leifer. Margaret finds Lasko at the high post. Lasko gives it for Leifer. Leifer, three-pointer, no good. Durab grabs that rebound. Yeah, another missed three by the Max, but once again, with the Max have done an excellent job of here is getting the ball into the into the elbow and then looking opposite for the open three-point shooter who has been there most times. Carlos Evans now takes it inside. Try to kick it out to Robinson in the corner. Evans has it up top again. Goes back for Durab. We have double teamed by Leifer and Terrell. Back for Evans. Evans, three-pointer. No good. As the shot clock expires. Leifer grabs the rebound and Lasko comes with it the other way. Terrell, three-pointer, no good. Markovic grabs the rebound, kicking it to Eitan Albert for the finish. What a find by Adi Markovic. Great pass there for Markovic and you gotta reward Halpert. His hustle to tip the ball away from the easy rebound leads to the Markovic rebound and then Eitan Halpert with the layup. Evans looks to take it inside. 
Looks like they are going to call a foul. It's going to be on Adi Markovic. That was a fortunate foul there because he had a wide open play for an easy layup underneath that he was about to hit before that foul was called. Jordan Armstrong checks back in. Gabe Leifert takes a seat. Robinson has it straight away. Time to wrap. Okay, for Porsich, Porsich, corner jumper. Nails it. It'll be a three. Dan Porsich again. He will shoot it at any moment. Can't give him any space. And he hits that one there for the three pointer. Cut to four. Power gets from Margaret to Nipos. Now over to Terrell. Terrell found Armstrong down low. Couldn't get the finish. And the Dolphins will transition the other way. Here comes Dan Porsich. Good defense there by Aton Halpert, who takes it right back. Halpert found Terrell. Terrell lost it, but the ball will stay here. That yeah, was a very hectic play back and forth. First, the block by Haven Smith, then Porsick losing the ball, then Ryan Terrell, the out, out of out of sorts layup that just was hit out of bounds. Margaret has it and lost it. Haven Smith comes away with it. Haven Smith, he's deceivingly long, long armed and just easily gets that ball. Another turnover for the Max. It's becoming a problem here in the first half. Talks about protecting the ball. You gotta watch out for Haven Smith. Evans takes a baseline, kicks it to Durab. Corner three on the way. No good. For a second there, it's, it hit the side and it will be out of bounds. Took a second for the refs to make that call. Yeah, but if you saw there, Ethan Lasko goes to the deck. That leads to Max playing five on four for the time being, leading to a wide open three for Durab. Fortunate that he missed that one and almost got his offensive rebound. But the referees say it hit the top part of the backboard. That's not going to count. Margaret brings it back. Now Lasko has it. Halpert tries a three. Can't get that one to fall. Looks like they're going to call a foul on a D. Markovic. Yeah, just a little over aggressive there by Markovic. That's the, one of, that's the second time they're going to call an over the back here on the max here in the first half. They're fortunate they have not called a couple more. Trying to tip the balls away from these Dolphins rebounders. That's Markovic's second foul. He's got to be careful here, closing in on halftime. 45 seconds to go till halftime. Evans gives it for Porsich. Now Robinson gives it over to Durab. Yeah, back to Evans. David Smith has it on the outside, guarded by Terrell. Song three by Durab. It's good, Durab from way downtown. And Durab is feeling it here in the first half, a couple of three pointers now. And the Max are probably going to hold for one here, take the lead into halftime, but we'll see what's going on. Last half, five by three, passed on it. Now has it back. 10 seconds to go. Halpert at the wing. It's back for Lasko. Lasko takes it inside. Kicks it to Halpert. Halpert, corner three. No good. Terrell with the putback at the buzzer. And it will count. What a way to end the second half. That's yeah, an unbelievable play by Ryan Terrell following the miss of Aton Halpert. Maybe that will get the max offense humming into the second half. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned for the halftime break. We'll be back after this.
Alfred gives for Patesh. Patesh seeing a lot of seeing a lot of time with the starting unit. Give it go, Elio Gabe Leifert Oof agrees. He got used to saying that. Ethan Halpert taking on a very similar role at his brother and recent graduate Simcha Halpert takes on his Oren Batesh connects on a triple. This is truly an unprecedented situation. This virus doesn't discriminate. It attacks everyone. We're following breaking news right now. A third person in our area has tested positive for the coronavirus. This time, it's a student at Yeshiva University. More than 100 families, that's a 1,000 people, are under New York State mandated self-quarantine. They're not going to be allowing spectators into the gym for the uh, NCAA tournament games. As of tomorrow, our public schools will be closed. While our university may be closed, the kindness and compassion of our community is always open. We will get through this and emerge even stronger. Pretending to take it back by, by Leifert. Give it to Terrell. Terrell! Get right, Terrell Kumar! University Maccabees have won 34 in a row.
All right, welcome back. We are almost ready to start halftime. In the meantime, enjoy halftime stats. They are brought to you by Leket Israel. Leket Israel, rescuing nutritious surplus food for Israelis in need. Before we begin halftime, we have the honor of being joined by Jack Terrell. <laughs> Jack, how you feeling? <laughs> the honor is mine. Honestly, I was very nervous to, uh, to join the staff tonight, but also very honored to be here and very happy and very excited. Thanks for having me on. We're really happy to have you. Jack, tell us your thoughts on about that first half. Well, First things first, whatever Ryan ate in the first half to start the game, he should never eat that again. In fact, he should eat the polar opposite. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think obviously the shots are going to fall. He's getting shots that he wants. You know, if you're, if you're the max offense, you've you got to be happy with the shots he's got to take. But in the end of the day, if you're Mount St. Vincent, that's the only thing you could do with this team is to go in a kitschy zone in this weird man 2-3 that they're playing and hope that we miss open threes. Because you go man-to-man -man with our offense and our, our um, motion, you're not going to be able to keep up with the guys. So, I mean, I think we're going to be fine in the second half. But, you know, going on the first, I mean, if you're Mount St. Vincent, you got to be happy with that. I talk about uh, Gabe Leifer. So, tonight he got honored for his 1,000 rebound, and he showed that he is a rebound machine. He's been really dominating the boards tonight. What do you have to say about his performance so far? Well, look, he looks like Moses Malone tonight. And he looks like Moses Malone on most nights. He's got oven mitts for hands. He's the great, this team, what I like about this team and it's not showing this half, but what I like about this team, they're a team of goats, right? They got the greatest, forget about the greatest players of all time. Gabe is both the greatest rebounder and the greatest passer in YU history. He leads them all time in assists. We have the greatest athletes in YU history. Across Jordan or Ofek or Ryan, you can go across. And if I could lead into this, we got the greatest sixth man in YU history in D1 transfer, Ethan Lasko. And I gotta tell you, if I have to go to one more Shabbos table with a guy using some argument that he didn't play, I don't wanna hear it, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. This guy played against D1 competition every day in practice. If you don't think he could average 25 a game out here, you are crazy, but he's a basketball player. He scored 44 in high school versus Ryan and Max in a double overtime game. He could, if you want him to be Rodman, he'll be Rodman. You want him to be a star, he'll be a star. You want him to set up assists and do what he does, he's got to do that. He's proving right now that he could fit into the offense more than what he needs to prove as a scorer. A lot of passions there, Jack. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I love this team and I love these guys. We love it. All right. So, Zach, let's close, uh, Jack, let's close quickly. What do you think the Max need to do to really turn around the second half and get the W? It's a close game right now. What do they need to do? You know, I, I think it's just his shots. Um, first off, it's figuring out the zone. We were trying to debate it uh, in the fans on what they were actually running. Was it a 2-3? Was it a 1-2-2? Two, two? Was it a 1-3-1? I know they're going to make the adjustments, and I know they're going to hit their shots. At the end of the day, Aton had a bunch of open ones. Ryan, wide open in the corners. I, most importantly, I think it's just take care of the possession. Too many un, unneeded turnovers. You know, too many times trying to force a fast break that's not there missing a catch that's there um you know not looking up finding the right guy i'm not so worried and at the end of the day if the game is close we still got number 11 and if you need a point there's nobody in d3 d2 and i know i'm biased but even d1 that i'd rather have with the ball in their hands with the game on the line than number 11. it's a rather bold statement there no biases of course uh, coming from another <laughs> terrell i'm sure oh yeah listen Jack, we love you, love the whole Terrell family. You guys bring a lot of energy to the game. We love Ryan as well. Really appreciate you coming here into the booth and talk to us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back very soon. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. PM&R, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. Bruchim Habaim, welcome to Yeshiva University, where our core Torah values shape everything we do and guide us toward a better tomorrow. In the classroom and the lab, in the Beit Midrash, on the court, on Shabbat, and all around the city, New York City. Grow at your own pace with smaller class sizes, research opportunities on and off campus, over 150 clubs, 15 D3 NCAA teams, 
and top-tier internships at companies like Bloomberg, Google, and Facebook. Our buy it is your buy it. When it's time to play, and when it's time to pray. When you have a craving, when you need a break, when you celebrate, and when you shine. Come on in and meet your chavruta, your teammates, your professors, this guy. Connect with people from down the street and from down under. With over 80% of students receiving financial aid, Yeshiva University distributes more than $45 million annually to ensure that a YU education is affordable for all. Make YU your home base and you've got all the bases covered, from first base to playing base, from this kind of base to the base medrash. Come on, that's a stretch. You can get where you're going faster with our Pathways programs, dual degrees, and partnerships. And when you're ready for the workforce, we've got you covered with a network of over 70,000 alumni. An astounding 94% of students are employed in grad school or both within six months after graduation. We are student-driven, outcome-driven, values-driven, deeply rooted, and forward-focused. Oh, and we also have all of this. What are you waiting for? Experience YU and step into your future. Welcome back to the Max Turner Athletic Center. Once again, I'm Daniel Malol, joined alongside Zach Tuckman, just about ready to start the second half. So Zach, what did we see in the first half? What did Max do right and what went wrong? Yeah, I think the Max got open shots. They were passing the ball really well, being really unselfish of the basketball, almost too unselfish at times. But I think the jumpers in the second half are gonna fall. They were six for 20 from downtown, not a great percentage. But I think in the second half, keep getting open shots, they're gonna fall. And that's gonna be the difference in this game. Let's hope, let's hope so. Now, we must make note that Ofek Reef is currently not on the floor. We saw him leave early in the first half. He has not returned since. Yeah, we don't know what the status of Ofek Reef is going forward, but if they were to play without him, that is your second leading scorer, your offensive and defensive spark plug. That's going to be a big loss for the Max. We'll see if they can overcome that potential loss here in the second half. It's going to be a challenge. Let's see if they can power through it. So before we begin, by the way, by the way, everyone, we want you to know that this coming Sunday is the YU Open House on the Wilf campus. For more information, visit the admissions website at yu.edu slash undergraduate admissions. We encourage everyone to come and check it out and learn more about the Yeshiva University experience. Once again, this Sunday is the Open House on the Wilf campus. All right, looks like we're just about to begin the second half here. Max return to the starting lineup minus Ofek, so Lasko in, with, in for him. And here comes, here's Samuels. Now Jeremiah Simmons has it, guarded by Ern Armstrong. Horsich has it in the wing, guarded by Terrell. Horsich gives it down low to Haven Smith. Smith working against Armstrong. Smith takes it, takes it back out. Samuels, shot up, no good. And Ethan Lasko comes away with it. Let's see if the match can turn around here. Terrell, he's back for Ethan Lasko. Dave Leifer has it up top, back for Lasko. Lasko thought about the three, now passed on it. Now gave it to Leifer. Leifer gives it to Aton Halpert. Halpert, take the three that time, now pops it and buries it! That's his fifth three of the night. Uh, Eitan Howard picks up right where he left off in that first half, using the pump fake to get and create space and hit that open jumper, Max up six. Horsich has it the other way. Now to Rab, trying to find Simmons cutting. Back for Smith on the baseline, now Smith takes it inside. And up in the air, no. Play continues, Samuels lays it up. Can't get it to fall. Nice hustle here by the Dolphins, they keep it. Simmons comes away with it, now Porsich takes it back. It looks like they're gonna call a stoppage here. That's gonna be a foul on Ryan Terrell on Dan Porsich. That's gonna be his first. So far Terrell has been uh, quiet in the first half. Let's see if he uh, you know, picks it up in here in the second half. All right, so Simmons will now inbound it. Rab has it, gives it for Porsik. Porsik gave it to Samuels. 
Now Porzing has it, nearly lost it. Ball goes out of play. Dolphins will keep it. It looks like Eitan Halper talking a little bit to Porzik. Maybe he said, I think that one was off you. Still, Still not St. Vincent ball. Dolphins keep it. Now Simmons has it. It's another stop, just call. It's going to be another foul. Yeah, Ethan Lasko a little bit too aggressive on that drive. Put his arm on the body of Samuel. That's going to be the second foul early on here in the second half for the Max. Shot clock reset now to 20. Gets it in, Porsick. Pass on the jumper, now gave it to Samuels. Durab has it guarded by Halbert. Ball goes out of bounds, and it looks like last touch by Durab. Maxwell's come away with it. And Coach Mooney does not like that call there. Looks like he thought it went off of Eitan Halpert. Eitan Halpert, excellent defense, moving his feet, beating Durab to the spot, and that's going to be Max Ball. Armstrong has it, now gives it to Lasko. Lasko gave it to Halpert, the hot hands. Turnover there, intercepted by Porsick. The Dolphins come back the other way. Samuels has it. Started by Leifer. Now gave it to Smith. Smith takes it on the baseline. Back for Samuels. Of course, has it in the wing, guarded by Terrell. Simmons has it in the corner. Started by Lasko. Now Simmons pops the shot and gets it to go. Excellent shot there by Jeremiah Simmons. Ethan Lasko was there with a the hand in his face, but that is just once again better offense there by the Dolphins. Lasko gave it to Halpert. The back for Lasko. Lasko passing the shot. Now looks to take it inside. Floats it up. Kick it. Let's go. But the putback slam by Jordan Armstrong, and the crowd is in a frenzy. The crowd loves that one. Jordan Armstrong able to clean up the Ethan Lasko miss with authority on the putback slam. Giraffe faked it, now pops the three. No good. And Jordan Armstrong grabs a rebound. Leifer brings it back the other way. Terrell, Halper passed on the three. Now found Leifer. Leifer, Terrell, corner three. That one goes down, Terrell finds the basket. And there we go, we said that put back the end of the first half. Might get Ryan Terrell going. Gets his first three-pointer here in the second half. Coach Mooney going to call a timeout with the Max up nine. Now, we're gonna hit, we want to hear a little about Lasko. Lasko's a fun guy, and uh, our silent reporter, SJ Tandem, has some words about that. SJ, take it away. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Ethan Lasko is active again on Twitter today, this time promising to step up his already ferocious defense. We know that he's willing to leave everything he has out on the floor every night, and it's certainly rubbed off on the rest of the team, as we can see. This time on Twitter, posting, quote, leaving literally everything I have on the court, end quote. We can certainly see how it's affected the rest of the team. Ethan Lasko is someone who is serious about his defense. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you very much, SJ. Yeah, Ethan's playing a big game tonight, especially uh, the place in Ofec Reef for now. We don't know if he'll come back, but so far Lasko's done a, a good job filling in for those shoes. Sure. And we see the Max came out a little bit, a little bit stronger defensively, only giving up two points so far. And that's helped them extend their nine-point lead. Laura Terrell getting the crowd into it with a go Max chance. Hey, it's never a YU Max game without Mrs. Terrell here in the crowd. Brings a lot of energy. So play will resume here. Max up 46-37. Grab got it into Samuels, guarded by Leifer. Now dribbles it out. Looking, tries to get on here, but Smith now does. Smith got it back to Samuels at the wing. And intercepted. Here comes Ryan Terrell in the clear. And he throws it down. This crowd is on their feet. Terrell gets the crowd into it. Now Porsich has it the other way. Quick jumper, no good. The Rab grabs the rebound. And ball comes away. Here comes Aton Halpert. Halpert lays it up, can't get it to go. Ball goes out of bounds. The Max will keep it. And it looks like that slam from Ryan Terrell has really energized the Max defense. 
another steal, another play in transition. This time Aethan Halpert does better defense. By the way, Terrell now has 13 points, six away from that 1,500 point milestone. Halpert looks to inbound, now found Ethan Lasko, who we were just talking about. Now Halpert, passed on the three, gives it to Terrell. Terrell looks, thought about taking a baseline, now passed it, now dribbles it out. Terrell gave it back to Lasko. Lasko is Terrell, Terrell to Halpert. Corner three, no good. Last touch there, Jordan Armstrong tapped it out. It goes out of bounds. Dolphins will take it back the other way. Yeah, great hustle there by Armstrong. Halpert just was not in the spot where he tipped it to. Going to be Dolphins ball coming down. Max look a little stronger to start this second half, Zach. Yeah, for sure. It's the defensive intensity. As we said, only two points get up here in the first five minutes. Samuels takes inside. And back. Smith, jumper, nails it. It's a good shot by Haven Smith. Halbert brings in now, calls the play. Gives for Lasko. Back to Halbert at the other wing. Right back to Lasko. Lasko, pass on the shot. Now takes it inside. Takes it back to Halpert. Now Leifer. Terrell, three-pointer. Bang! Ryan Terrell from distance. Excellent ball movement there by the Max. It starts with Ethan Lasko with the penetration, getting to the elbow, stopping and looking opposite for his open teammates, eventually leading to the Ryan Terrell three-pointer. Colin Turner, Harris now in, intercepted by Leifer. Leifer breaks for Terrell, here comes Terrell in the clear, and he throws it down again. One more point to go till 1500. And yeah, Coach Moon needs another timeout here. Ryan Terrell now only one point away. The crowd is on their feet here in the Max Stern Athletic Center. And rightfully so. There's a lot of energy in this gym. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back soon. Welcome back to the Max Turner Athletic Center. Max, on a hot start here in the second half so far. A lot of energy in this gym. Yeah. We got we to gotta sub in Isaiah McKenzie. Back, Elijah McKenzie back in the game. We'll see if he can provide that spark he did in the first half. Kyle Evans in as well. And Evans floats it up and gets it to go. Great take there by Kyle Evans. Yeah, we talked about Evans in the pregame. He's one of their leading scorers. We haven't seen so much of him. We'll see if we can get them going. Dolphins in their 1-3-1 one, one zone. We'll see if they can force some more turnovers. Hopper has the corner. Double team by Evans and Simmons. Now back for Lasko. Lasko found Armstrong down low. Breaks it. Goes up. Gets fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Excellent patience there by Jordan Armstrong. Knew he had two defenders in the air. Just waited for them to come down. Goes up. Draws the easy foul. And he'll get two at the line. A lot of excitement here so far. And by the way, fans, if you want to know how you can receive more Max News and updates, you can join our WhatsApp group. The link to join is in the description of this YouTube video. Armstrong unable to hit the second. Porsche comes away with it. Coming to her hands. Let's turn around quickly, but lost it. And Ethan Lasko comes back with it the other way. Lasko found Halpert. Back for Lasko. A little lifer. Found Halpert. Now Lasko, wing three. He's got it. Ethan Lasko from behind the arc. Excellent extra pass there by Aton Halpert. He had a good shot, but he wanted Ethan Lasko to get a great shot, and he cans it. McKenzie now back to Porsche. Porsche tries to answer. Can't do it. Lasko brings away the rebound. Lasko found Halpert. Halpert takes it inside and gets the finish. Beautiful eyes there by Lasko. Excellent feed there by Ethan Lasko starting the break. Aton Halper, better finish under the shot blocker, McKenzie. 
Evans looks to take it back in. Now McKenzie, takes down low, gets fouled. He'll head the line for two. Good strong take by there by Elijah McKenzie going into the body of Gabe Leifert, drawing the foul. It's Leifert's second. McKenzie will get two with the line. It looks like D. Markovich is going to come in here after the first shot. Meantime, McKenzie at the line for the first. In the meantime, Zach, so what have the Max done? They're now up by 18. They were up by three coming into halftime, and they have uh, shown, a, shown a spark here. What, what have they done right so far? Yeah, I think similar to the last game. I mean, last game it started with a 19 run sparked by the defense, I think, here as well. Not quite a 19-0 run, but still the defense sparking the easy baskets in transition, and it has really helped the Max grow this lead from three to 18. Kenzie now at the line for the second. And hits it. And McKenzie showed a nice spark off the bench when we spoke to Coach Mooney. I mean, he said he, this guy has grown leaps and bounds since they started practice only a couple weeks ago. See the growth right there as he's up front of a nice little spark here in the second half. Draws the high post. Lasko, another three. No good. Rebounded by Porsik. Oh, Carlos Evans showing extreme frustration that Porsik missed him in transition. Now Simmons has it guarded by Lasko. Gives it for Evans. Kenzie double team. Kenzie throws up the shot. Kick it, go. Nice hustle there by Evans to keep it alive for the Dolphins. Yeah, Evans came out of nowhere. Ryan Thrill thought he had an easy rebound, but Carlos Evans there to snag that one down. Good defense there by Jordan Armstrong. Good hustle there by Adi Markovic, and Terrell has it. Max take over. Lasko passed on the shot. Now drives in. Kicks to Terrell. Terrell for three. No good. Throws it up. Gets fouled, and he'll head to the line for two shots. And Jordan Armstrong, another offensive rebound here for him tonight. He has been a presence down low. The Dolphins have had a hard time dealing with him. Second half only gets more exciting here. So you know, a lot of action happens not just in the game, but if you want to get for behind the scenes pictures and content you won't find anywhere else, be sure to follow at MaxLive on Instagram. We're also active on Twitter, it's at MaxLives for exclusive behind the scenes content. Dolphins make some subs, looks like McKenzie and Evans sit. Um, in comes, it looks like Goodwin. And Robinson. Max keep it alive here. Lasko has it, found Markovic. Now Terrell, back to Lasko. Lasko passed on three, now took it inside. Now found Markovic, corner three on the way. It's good! Adi Markovic hits the triple. Adi Markovic again, and that is the result of, again, excellent passing there by the Max. Around the horn it goes, leading to the Markovic wide open three in the corner. Max now up by 20. Korsic intercepted by Lasko. Lasko breaking with Terrell. Lasko, found Terrell, couldn't throw it down. But Jordan Armstrong comes away with... It looks like we'll have a jump ball. Uh, Ethan Lasko wanted point number 1,500 for Ryan Terrell to be a special one. Just a little bit too tall for Terrell there. Indeed, that would have been something. Maybe we're going to have to work on those bunny hops in the summer. Noted. Looks like the Max will keep it here. So still another chance for Terrell to get point number 1,500. Sub for the Dolphins here. Looks like Ben Porsich will take a seat. And number 15, Adrian Ratchy takes, uh, checks in. Yeah, Racy's only a freshman, but he's athletic. Coach Mooney says he loves how he crashes the boards hard, and he provides a lot of energy out there. Also in for the max, number 22, Matan Zucker. See what he goes. Alley-oop. Now Jordan Armstrong decided not to throw it down, so he kicks it back out. Now Lasko has it. Back to Markovic. Another three. No good. And the ball will go out of bounds off Jordan Armstrong. Dolphins will take it back the other way. The Max have found their rhythm here in the second half. We talked about slow first halves between this game and the last one, but they have really started to find their rhythm here. Yeah, we said the Max were getting open shots in the first half. They just were not falling, but here we see the shots have started to fall. AC throws it up. Can't get it to fall. Terrell snags that rebound. Terrell looks to push. Terrell gave it to Armstrong. Back to Markovic. Over to Lasko. Now Lasko dribbles in. Brings it back out. Now Markovic has it. 
All right, Trent Armstrong in the high post. Armstrong nearly lost it, but Tom Zucker keeps it alive. Zucker has to take it inside, throws it up, can't get it to go. And Racing comes away with it. Doing gave it back to Robinson. Dorian Robinson looks to take it inside. Stopped. Now gave it back to Haven Smith. Smith takes a baseline. Now back to Robinson. Robinson takes it inside off high glass, gets it to go, and one beautiful take there. Beautiful take there with the offhand by Dorian Robinson to get the and one. Jordan Armstrong got him with the body. He avoids the shot blocker, gets it to go off the glass. Trying to complete the three-point play for Dorian Robinson. Looks like we had some subs for the max. Aton Halpert and Gabe Leifert coming back in. Jordan Armstrong will sit along with Ryan Terrell. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer to see Ryan Trell get that 1,500th point. Still plenty of time. About 10 and a half minutes to play here. Max up by 18. Robinson at the line for one. Let's Can't see. complete it, but a good rebound by Haven Smith to keep it alive. I was going to say, let's see if that basket can get, them, can get the Dolphins going. I mean, we talked about Dan Porsick being the lead, one of the leaders on this team, Dorian Robinson, another. Coach Mooney said he is the vocal leader on this team when we spoke to him. Let's we'll see if that play can get him going. Durab has it. And cutting Simmons, but couldn't get it to fall. And Gabe Leifert comes away with the rebound. That uh, was a nice backdoor cut. It's the second time that the Max fell for that backdoor cut, but Gabe Leifert's size in the paint, just too much altering the shot. Leifert now has it down low. Good defense there by Durab. Kira Samuels comes back with it the other way. Samuels, stutter step, couldn't get it to fall. And now Gabe Leifert comes back with it. Lasko brings it back the other way. And Max, Max fortunate on that one. Gabe Leifert was complaining, looking for a foul call, no cigar. But the Max fortunate not to give up a bucket in transition there. Leifert now has it down low. Immediately double team, found a cutting Aton Halpert, who throws it up and gets the call. Aton Halpert will go to the line. What a finish there by Aton Halpert. I don't know how he had the strength to get that one onto the backboard. Looks like he might have bulked up in the past few weeks. That was a great take there by Aton, showing that he's a hustler here. He'll go to the line to complete that three-point play. And Halpert completes the three-point play. Max now by 21, under 10 minutes to go here in the second half. Robinson brings it back the other way. Now Smith has it, Smith looks to take it on Lifer. Smith gave it back out to Durab. Smith has it back down low, Smith working against Lifer. Smith floats it up, can't get it to go. Lifer grabs another rebound, quick transition, here comes Aton Halpert. Halpert slows it down and Max will reset. Lasko with the ball now. Mark has the wing, back for Lasko, Lasko, pass on the three, I give it to Markovich, now Markovich dribbles in, finds Leifer, Leifer down low, puts it up, can't get it to go, tip won't go either, but Lasko comes away with the rebound, good hustle there from Ethan Lasko, risky pass there, but Halford keeps it, now Lasko has it, takes a baseline, now Markovich, Markovich takes on the pass, and the ball's still loose, and it looks like it'll be the last touch by the Dolphins, Max will keep it, and it looks like Ryan Terrell is going to come back into this ball game. Now let's see if the, with the Max draw up with only seven on the shot clock here, they're going to have to act and work quickly. Halpert to inbound it, find Leifer. Here's Remarkovich back to Leifer. Now Halpert has to put up a three. No good. Rebounded by Matan Zucker. Max will keep another for another possession. Zucker dribbles in. Throws it up, can't get it to go, but he'll go to the line for two shots. And Matan Zucker, a little bit of a shaky first half there in his couple minutes, but there he does what he does best. Gets the offensive rebound and puts his head down, draws the contact and gets to the line for two shots. Matan's a young player in his second season with the Max. He's slowly developing in a good game. Sunday scored 10 points. Put up, a, put up big minutes there and see him tonight here also putting up big minutes. Rofek Reef still not back here in the gym yet. He is on the bench, but still, he's not back in the game. It looks like he's got something on his left knee. He cannot make any speculation, but with the 22-point lead, I would be surprised if Coach Steinmetz wanted to put him back in the game. It's 
Sucker hits the free throw. Max now up 23. Grab calls the play. Now gives for Elijah McKenzie, who checks back in. Grab has it. Now looks to take it. Baseline jumper. Won't fall. Ooh. Alpert and Leifer almost fought for that, but they realize they're on the same team. Now Leifer takes back in. Okay, for Zucker. Zucker can't finish down low. Gets it back in. Throws it back up. And gets it to fall. Great second take there by Matan Zucker. Yeah, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Zucker there. And Coach Moody's going to take another timeout. With the max now up 25. Back. We talked about CMSV having a tough schedule. For more on that, we're going to take it to our silent reporter, SJ Tannenbaum. SJ, take it away. Thanks, guys. Tonight, the College of Mount St. Vincent takes on one of their toughest opponents here in the Max, but that is nothing new to them. This team actively looks to schedule games against tough opponents. In addition, they've actually scheduled two upcoming exhibitions against Division I teams. In addition, College of Mount St. Vincent is also scheduled to play number four, Illinois Wesleyan, the day before the Max due on December 30th. When Coach Elliott Steinman of the Max called IWU to schedule a game against them. They wanted to play a second game in New York, and Coach Mooney of Mount St. Vincent was quick to take that offer. This College of Mount St. Vincent team wants to play the hardest opponents possible. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you very much, SJ. Zach, on what, on what we just heard from, from SJ, this College of Mount St. Vincent team, indeed, they like to play challenges. We've seen them put up so far a good challenge. Max have battled back, but definitely this uh, will not come away as an easy win for the Max. We see them really be putting up a good fight. Yeah, I think they're going to have to be happy with the first half effort they showed, keeping it within a three-point game in the first half, especially after they fell down early, 9-0, to zero, really battling back, showing some toughness and grit. Play resumes. Dorian Robinson has a gifts for Dan Porsche back in. Now Robinson pops the three, can't get it to go. And the rebound is controlled by Aton Halpert. Markovich looks to quickly transition, finds Terrell. Shall give it back to Aton Halpert. Passed on the quick three. Now Matan Sucker has it down low. Sucker goes up. Can't get the finish, but he will go to the line for two shots. And Matan Zucker is out here in the second half to make a statement. We said earlier, not the greatest first half by his standards, but the second half he has come out ready to roll. That's, another, that's the third straight possession where he has been featured here, getting the ball. Force drawing the foul and going to the line again. And by the way, while you students, tomorrow night there will be a Q&A with Mitchell Silk, former Assistant Secretary of the Treasury for International Markets. They'll talk about the current state of the global economy and the rising economic competition between the U.S. and China. If you're a YU student, you are encouraged to attend. And by the way, Zach, that's a great example of an awesome experience you can get nowhere but here at YU. I'm sure YU obviously a great place. A lot of, lot of things you can do on campus, including hear some unbelievable speakers from time to time. Zucker to the free throw. Max now up by 26. Shakira Samuels brings it back the other way. Horsich has it at the wing. Turner Harris, McKenzie play catch. Now Turner Harris looks to take it inside. Floats it up. Can't get it to go, but McKenzie gets the rebound. And he goes up and gets fouled. Well, we said it earlier, McKenzie, we really like his energy. And he gets the offense rebound again and draws the foul. Zach, the Max are up 26 points here, though. A little over seven minutes to go. But have they done much better here? We can definitely see a difference in teams between the first and second half. I mean, for first and foremost, their defense has been unbelievable here in the second half. That free throw by McKenzie is only the 10th point scored by Mount St. Vincent here in the second half. The Max offense has gotten obviously a little bit better, and I think those two factors have just really blown open the game. That's what we talked about in the pregame show and throughout the game. That's what we've been worried about, and they have risen to the occasion. Kenzie on able to the second there. Max come back the other way. Leifer quickly finds Aton to pass on the three. And Leifer found Sucker down low. Who gets the finish? Great find there by Gabe Leifer. Another possession, another bucket by Matan Zucker. That's, a, that's another possession where they feature Matan Zucker down low. Gabe Leifer finds him as Jack Terrell said at halftime. Best passer YU has ever seen on their basketball team showing it there. with the sixth foul on the Max next one, one and one for the Dolphins. Max want to be careful in the contact here. Forces takes it inside. 
And it looks like they are going to call a foul. The Max players and the fans all wanted to travel, but they are going to call a foul. Yeah, the Max crowd does not like it. They're going to call the foul on the grab of the arm by Ryan Terrell before the travel on Porsick. Ryan Terrell having a nice conversation with the referee about that dispute. Porsick took the line. Can't hit the first. There's only a one-on-one, -on -one, so play resumes. And the Dolphins not able to take advantage of the bonus they're in right now. Markovic has it. Now gives for Leifert at the top. Count Sucker down low again. Ball. Refs had a little confusion there, but they agree the ball stays here with the Max. Markovic to inbound it. Count Halpert, quick shot. Banks it in. Eitan Halpert, excellent shooter. A little bit closer than he usually takes his shots from, but still gets it to go. Nice shot off the glass. Kenzie has it, now gives it for Samuels. Turner Harris now pops the jumper. Can't get it to go, and it goes out of play. Turner Harris loves to shoot from anywhere. Pulls the trigger early there. Goes over the backboard. That's going to be Max Ball going down. Lockridge brings it back the other way. Now Halpert has it at the wing. Halpert pops another three. Can't get that one to fall. Great rebound there by Matan Zucker. Goes up, can't get it to fall. Goes up again and gets it to go. What great down low play there from Matan Zucker. Yeah, Matan Zucker after that play telling the Dolphins defender he is just too small. That's another possession and another bucket for Matan Zucker. Horsic just taken inside, nearly lost it there. And still in their way by Aton Halpert. And it looks like it will stay here with the Dolphins. No foul called. Yeah, Aton Halpert does not like what he sees from the referee on that call. But it's going to stay here with the Dolphins. Number 14, Haven Smith is going to check back in. Elijah McKenzie will, sit, will take a seat. Sandals has it guarded by Zucker. Gives for Durab. Durab stole away. Great defense there by Eton Halper. Max come back the other way. Leifer has it. Lost it. It looks like it's going to stay here. It's going to be a one. It should be a one and one for Gabe Leifer. It looks like it will As be. As the seventh team foul in the Dolphins. Max starting to empty the bench a little bit here. Max Leibowitz and Oren Batesh going to check into the game. Terrell and Markovic will sit. Uh, Terrell going to take a seat here with 18 points. Will this be the last we see of Terrell sitting on 1,499 career points? Still under six minutes to go. We might see him back. We'll see what Coach Lamets decides to do. Lifer unable to hit the free throw, and Dolphins quickly transition the other way. Turner Harris brings it back, and now looks to take it inside. Excellent defense there by Gabe Lifer to take it away. Max, Max break away. A great hustle again for Fakir Samuels. Max will keep it. And Daniel, you can hear the crowd here is starting to chant for Alon Jakobowicz, a fan favorite. Especially after that amazing dunk he had last week against Eastern Connecticut State. They want to see it again. And Zucker pops a three and unable to hit. And Matan Zucker, not really his game from downtown, but after a couple possessions down low, he thought he would give it a shot. And Kelvin Turner-Harris is able to hit the other way. Kelvin Turner-Harris can get hot in a hurry. We'll see if he can provide a spark after that one. Oren Batesh has it. I guess for Leifer at the baseline. Leifer looks to take it in. Takes it back out to Aton Halpert. Halpert, three-pointer. Bang! Aton Halpert again from three. Aton Halpert has been the key to this game here tonight. A good night's work for him. He has made countless shots here tonight. So it takes over to Durab. Calvin Turner-Harris has it now. Started by Leibowitz and Halpert. Now Porsich, three-pointer. Doesn't go, and Gabe Leifer secures the rebounds. Leifer brings it back the other way. Gives for Zucker. Now Max Leibowitz passed on the shot. Gave it back to Gabe Leifer. Aton Halper with it. Back to Zucker. Tesh gives it back to Zucker. Zucker kicks it out. Leifer straight on three. No good. And Aaron Durab comes away with it. Looks to break here, but good defense there 
However, the refs are going to call a kickball, so the Dolphins will keep it. And good anticipation there by Leifer. Max going to go with Altit and Muller off the bench. That should probably end Gabe Leifer's night, as well as Aton Halpert. Great performance by Halpert and Gabe Leifer as uh, we we'll see what Muller and Altit bring to the game. Shakira Samuels now takes it. Comes over for Sean Goodwin. Jack Connolly, you just checked in, gives it over to Racy. Back over to Goodwin. Goodwin gives it for Dorian Robinson. Back for Connolly at the wing. Pass on three, gave it back to Robinson. Robinson, the floater, won't go. Rebounded by Max Leibowitz. Leibowitz gives for Muller. Aton Zucker has it. Now over to Batesh. Back for Muller. Muller gives for Leibowitz. Decided not to shoot and passed it back out. Altit. Well pass there. Sean Goodwin takes it away. And Altit a little bit lazy with that pass. Dolphins able to intercept. That was Brian. Brian Rollins just checked in for the game. Came away with it. Now Dorian Robinson has it. It's for Goodwin. Goodwin thought about it, not ready to pull the trigger on that one. Rawlings has it. Gives it back for Robinson. Goodwin has it. Five on the shot clock. Gracie takes it in. Goes back. Well, Robinson has to throw it up. It won't go. Tip there from Max Leibowitz to Oren Bitesh. And at the end, we got Alon Jakobowitz checking in next whistle. Expect the crowd to be in a frenzy. Rough pass there, but Bitesh keeps it. Now T has it, gives for Leibowitz. Back for Muller. Muller looks to take it inside. Tried to find Matan Zucker off the Dolphins. And will keep it, and you can hear the crowd excited as Alon Jakubowicz checks into the game. Yeah, let's see if he can throw down any dunks. The crowd is expecting a lot out of him in this final 2.24. Muller throws it over to Leibowitz. Now Lone Kubitz gets his first touch of the game. Muller, corner three on the way. No good. Brian Rollins comes back with it. It's Adrian Racy. Now Rawlings. Lost it, and Max Leibowitz comes away with it. Leibowitz, outlet pass to Alone. Alone puts it up. Can't get it to go. I'll teeth the rebound. He can't finish either. A great pass by Max Leibowitz, but Alone Jakubitz just could not finish. Still getting used to the game. He's only first seen the action for so long. Now Connolly has down low, throws it up, and throws it in for his first points of the night. A nice finish there by Connolly. Leibowitz kicks it over to Muller. Now Batesh has it at the wing. Malone has it baseline. Comes back to Leibowitz. Leibowitz passed on the shot. Now found Batesh. Batesh, wing three. No good. Connolly comes away with the rebound. Goodwin brings it back the other way. Connolly thought about it from distance, but passed on it. Now Goodwin has it at the wing, guarded by an Altit. Muller poked it away. Robinson keeps it. Connolly, short jumper, doesn't fall. Alone, Jakubowicz grabs the rebound, and Cobb gets excited when, for, when he grabs the board. Leibowitz gives it for Muller. Muller found Leibowitz. Leibowitz passed on the jumper. Now give it back to Muller. Muller finds Oren Batesh. Leibowitz corner jumper rejected there by Sean Goodwin. And a good display of sportsmanship there by Sean Goodwin giving Max Leibowitz a little pat on the stomach after that one. Leibowitz gives it to Batesh. Back to Leibowitz immediately. Six on the shot clock, Altit takes it in. Jakubowicz, fadeaway jumper, it's good! And you can see the crowd stand up and get in a frenzy. Uh, you have a big smile there on Alon Jakubowicz's face. I could not tell if that was Alon Jakubowicz or Dirk Nowitzki on that step back one footer. Awfully similar shot, the crowd is into it. Rawlings takes it in, can't finish. And Zach Muller comes away with it. 
They are on their feet here in the Max Stern Athletic Center. What a performance, what a great way to turn around the second half. And the Yeshiva University Maccabees are gonna go 5-0 on the season and improve their win streak to 41 straight. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back for the halftime show. Hi everyone, hi everyone, this is Tomer Capone and I want to invite you all to come and help and volunteer with Leket Israel. Thank you. Alfred gives for Patesh. Patesh seeing a lot of seeing a lot of time with the starting unit. Give it go, Aliu Gabe Leifert of Agreed! Got used to saying that. Ethan Halpert taking on a very similar role as his brother and recent graduate Simcha Halpert takes on his Oren Batesh connects on a triple. Did you know that 90% of low back pain and sciatica can be treated without surgery? After a detailed evaluation, our physical therapists use gentle, hands-on techniques to alleviate most forms of low back pain. Our physicians have expertise in medication management, as well as a variety of interventional techniques, including trigger point injections. By utilizing a combination of these options, we can help you today. PMNR, the proud sponsor of Yeshiva University Athletics. Let us help you reach your goals at one of our five locations in New York and New Jersey. This is truly an unprecedented situation. This virus doesn't discriminate. It attacks everyone. We're following breaking news right now. A third person in our area has tested positive for the coronavirus. This time, it's a student at Yeshiva University. More than 100 families, that's a thousand people, are under New York State mandated self-quarantine. They're not going to be allowing spectators into the gym for the uh, NCAA tournament games. As of tomorrow, our public schools will be closed. While our university may be closed, the kindness and compassion of our community is always open. We will get through this and emerge even stronger. Hey Max fans, this is Joseph Gittler, YU class of 1996, founder and chairman of Leket Israel. The skies are reopening, so come and volunteer with us in Israel as soon as you make it here. Please also consider supporting us as you think about your charity. And of course, go Max! Welcome back. Max with an impressive 81-49 victory. One of the highlights of the game had to be when the crowd got in a frenzy from that fadeaway jumper from Alone Jakubowicz. What a shot that was, Zach. Yeah, I mean, who could be better to hit a shot than Alone Jakubowicz? The crowd's fan favorite, Alone Jakubowicz, hitting that shot at the end of the game. Unbelievable shot. And now we want to hear from SJ Tanami standing by with Aton Halpert. Thanks, guys. I'm here with clearly tonight's star of the game, Mr. Aton Halpert. 
Aton, another phenomenal performance. 27 points, 10 for 16 from the field, 6 for 12 from three-point range. Question for you, when you're warming up before one of these games, can you feel it in your shooting if there's going to be a special performance, or is it totally random? I mean, when I'm warming up, when I miss one shot, I'm upset. So like, and when I'm working out, when no one's guarding me, I, th I think I should hit every single shot. So like, when I come out of games, it's more about being patient, letting it come to me, and shooting my shot off teammates' good pass. 100%, we love that confidence. Another question we had to ask you. We noticed all the staff and the announcers, all the fans I'm sure as well noticed, the defense tonight from the Max, phenomenal. Was that something you guys consciously thought to improve or is it just the same, try your hardest every game? Yeah, I mean, our defense was absolutely horrible tonight. Uh, we have big goals this year. We're not, gonna be, we're not gonna accomplish anything playing D like that. Like, that was horrible D. Like, that's something we need to focus on. We just get lazy and overconfident. So, like, tonight was a horrible example of our D. Until the second half, we had like two minutes of good D. So, like, we gotta be better. That wasn't great D. Incredible. Even after a 41 game winning streak, this team is always still trying to improve. Back to you guys in the booth. Aton, so much. Thank you so much. Have a great game. Thank you very much, SJ. We would like to thank the entire crew of today's game. Executive producer and director, Akiva Poppers. Technical director, Aaron Traurig. Associate producer, Ari Schopp. Segment producer, David Price. And our amazing cameraman, Shmuel Galpin, Derek Fuller, Ezra Jacobs, and Moshe Redchester. Signing off for Max Live, I'm Daniel Malol. Thank you, and have a good night.